I can do that. They don't understand it until they try it in water. 20-year-old Marie Brandt began synchronized swimming when she was a child. I have always been swimming, so uh, I wanted to continue with that, but the next level for me would be competition level, and I didn't want to just swim lanes anymore, so my mom found this team, and I found it very interesting with both music and more artistic than just normal, regular swimming. We have figures where you have to repeat many, many times, and it kind of gets very boring, it's just technique, but when we do the routines, it's much very fun, we do it with a partner and we hear music. Today, Marie trains at IF Losing in Aarhus three times a week. I really like it. It's not that big. It's really nice. We have a kind of good community. We know all the other instructors and teams. So, you know, if, if we need five more minutes in the water, then that's fine. I have losing is one of only 16 different clubs in Denmark doing synchronized swimming. In this team, almost 20 women of different ages train together. The swimmers either do solo, duo or group performances. I definitely do prefer the do it. You can be very technical and you can make it very synchronized. You have a lot more focus on the synchronization and the difficulties and one in your particular uh, niveau. According to Marie's duet partner, Katrin Heuberg Christiansen, a good duo performance is more than just physicality. You need to be very uh, Connected to like see when each other struggles or having a bad day. We are doing a duet to the Danish Championships to uh, October. During a competition, the swimmers are judged based on strength, creativity and perfection. Therefore, they have to train hard. What's most difficult when you're on water, it's when you have to have both your legs over the water. And that requires very many stomach muscles. Since Marie was 12 years old, she has done multiple shows and competitions. Even here, she can feel the support of the community. One of the coaches from Odense, you know, after they have been judging us and given the points, they came up to me and were like, oh, like, I like this, but you need to do more of this. So, like, she isn't even my coach, but we're kind of like one family. Because synchronized swimming is a very niche sport, athletes have to help each other out. They kind of not got Marie volunteers as a coach for the younger swimmers in the club. These children, they want to learn something that I'm really passionate about and I really want to give that to them. Even though Marie does not plan on continuing synchronized swimming as a professional career, she enjoys sharing her passion with others.